Chapter 31 Sneak Attack You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the depths of the secret realm, Zhou Yun stopped after killing another spiritual beast. As he continued to kill spiritual beasts, his sword intent and sword technique also became more and more mature. Now, he felt that he was invincible among those below the foundation establishment stage. He could even trade one for one above the foundation establishment stage. At the thought of this, Zhou Yun was a little eager to try. He wanted to fight with a true foundation establishment stage powerhouse and test the results of his sword technique. Dot of course, the most important thing was still Chiao. There were dangers in the entire secret realm. Although Chiao's cultivation level was high, she lacked offensive means. It was still dangerous for her to walk alone in this secret realm. However, after walking for such a long time, he had not met anyone. Zhou Yun was a little puzzled. Logically speaking, although everyone was scattered in various areas, they should have met each other sooner or later because they were all wandering around. However, they had not seen a single person yet. Could it be that I'm so lucky that the inner sect disciples can't find me? Or is the direction I'm going in wrong and I'm getting further away from them? Thinking of this, Zhou Yun shook his head and focused his attention on the spirit dot cleansing liquid he was collecting. In this short while, he had already killed more than a dozen spiritual beasts. After each spiritual beast died, they would leave behind a drop of spirit dot cleansing liquid that was like a glass ball. Now, he had more than a dozen drops in his hands. This spiritual liquid should be able to increase his strength by a certain amount. This way, when he encountered those inner sect disciples later, his chances of winning would be greater. I wonder what this spirit cleansing liquid will taste like. Zhou Yun stared at the transparent liquid in his hand and felt an inexplicable sense of anticipation. Xiao had said that the spirit dot cleansing liquid had the effect of purifying one's spiritual energy and strengthening one's foundation. He wondered if that was true. According to Xiao, the spiritual qi of this era was much thinner than it was a thousand years ago, and there were more impurities in it. When immortal cultivators absorbed spiritual qi, they would also absorb these impurities along with the spiritual qi. The longer the time, the more difficult it was for the cultivator to cultivate, and the slower the improvement. It was like a car. If gasoline mixed with sediment was added for a long time, the car would be far inferior to a car that had pure gasoline added for a long time in terms of speed and engine wear and tear. The spirit dot cleansing liquid was used as a tool to clean the fuel tank of a car. As Zhou Yun thought about it, he placed the spirit dot cleansing liquid in his hand into his mouth. As the spirit dot cleansing liquid entered his mouth, a cool and refreshing feeling spread from his mouth. In an instant, Zhou Yun felt a portion of the spirit energy within his body being drawn out. This portion was very small, almost negligible. However, Zhou Yun felt that he was a little stronger than before. What was being stripped just now, was it the impurities in the spiritual energy? I didn't think that it could actually purify spiritual energy. When he found out that it could really purify and improve the quality of his spiritual force, his eyes instantly lit up and he stared at the other spiritual beasts nearby. The spiritual liquid he had just taken had purified a part of the spiritual power in his body. As long as he had enough spiritual power, he could completely purify the spiritual power in his body and improve his foundation strength, just like the people a thousand years ago. This way, the more he cultivated, the more obvious his advantage of having pure spiritual energy became. Then, Zhou Yun shook his head. There aren't many spiritual beasts nearby. Even if we kill them all, the purification effect will be minimal. Moreover, although the spirit dot cleansing liquid had a purifying effect on him, the effect was too small. If he were to kill the spirit beast just for this, it would not be worth it. The dozen or so drops of spirit illusory liquid he had absorbed just now had only brought him a little change, which was almost negligible. Thinking of this, Zhou Yun had a headache. The current amount of spiritual purifying liquid was not enough to purify the whole body and improve one's aptitude. 
If he wanted to change, he would need a large amount of spiritual purifying liquid. He only got one drop of spiritual illusionary night from killing each spiritual beast, and the amount he needed was at least enough to fill a bathtub. But if that's the case, we'll have to kill more spiritual beasts. The deeper we go into the secret realm, the higher the level of the spiritual beasts. Now, some foundation establishment spiritual beasts have appeared, and these spiritual beasts are much more difficult to deal with than those in the Qi cultivation stage. At this moment, Zhou Yun suddenly recalled something. These spiritual beasts would usually only wander around one area, but the further east one went, the more concentrated the spiritual beasts would be. After realizing this pattern, Zhou Yun immediately thought of a possibility. Could it be in the east is where their base camp is? The bigger the base, the more opportunities there are. Danger and opportunities often company exist. After realizing this problem, Zhou Yun's eyes immediately lit up. In order to verify his suspicions, he ignored the nearby spiritual beasts and walked toward the east of the trial grounds. At this moment, in the east of the secret realm, a tall young man in green was walking slowly in the forest. His name was Fang Ping, and he had just entered the foundation establishment stage. Among the inner sect disciples of the Spirit Heart Valley, his strength was below average. He had long received a notice when he was outside the secret realm. After entering the secret realm, he had to keep heading east and finally gather near a spirit.cleansing pond. However, since everyone's location was random when they entered the secret realm, and he just happened to be teleported to the west side of the secret realm. That was why he had not arrived yet. I've already entered the eastern side of the secret realm. We shouldn't be far from the spirit.cleansing liquid pool. Fang Ping walked carefully, trying not to wake up any of the spiritual beasts. At this moment, he suddenly heard some movement. He, who was already careful, immediately hid and concealed his aura. Not long after, Zhou Yun's figure appeared nearby. At this time, his figure was a little disheveled. Just now, in order to verify his thoughts, he had attracted a lot of spiritual beasts, and he had spent a lot of effort to get rid of them. Fortunately, these spiritual beasts had their own territorial awareness. After Zhou Yun left their territory, they stopped chasing him. It seems like my guess was right. The spiritual beasts here are getting more and more concentrated, and they are also getting stronger, Zhou Yun said as he walked. At this moment, he suddenly stopped and hid himself. He found that there was another gathering place of spiritual beasts not far ahead. This group of spiritual beasts was even more concentrated than the ones he had encountered before. With such a dense gathering of spiritual beasts, could it be the main camp? I heard from Xiao that there's a clear spirit pond in the base, but I wonder if there's one. Zhou Yun's face was filled with surprise. At this moment, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his back, and he instinctively rolled to the side to avoid it. My friend, why did you attack me when we have no enmity? Zhou Yun looked at Fang Ping in front of him, his face full of displeasure. Chapter 32 Despair you are listening at NovelFull.audio. On the other side, near the spirit.cleansing pond. Chiaowar's petite figure flew quickly through the forest, changing directions from time to time. Behind her, a large group of spiritual beasts was already chasing after her. They were all chasing after her because Chiaowar had invaded their territory. Normally, these spiritual beasts would fall into a deep sleep. As long as one was careful not to wake them up, one would not be chased. In order to find Zhou Yun as soon as possible, Chao had barged into their territory without considering the consequences. She had even shouted Zhou Yun's name loudly. This action had not only awakened the spiritual beasts, but also made them feel provoked. The spiritual beast roared angrily behind Chao, scaring a large number of birds into flying around. This also attracted the attention of other spiritual beasts, who then joined the ranks of the pursuit. Brother Zhou Yun, where are you? Chiao said worriedly as she dodged the attack of a spiritual beast. Chiao did not care about the increasing number of spiritual beasts chasing after her. 
Her heart was filled with worry for Zhou Yun. Why is it that after searching for so long, brother Zhou Yun is still nowhere to be seen? Xiao was so anxious that she was on the verge of tears. Ever since she entered the secret realm, she had been searching for Zhou Yun. Because she knew that all the inner sect disciples who were participating in the inner sect trial test had their eyes on her brother Zhou Yun, she was worried that Zhou Yun would be attacked by these inner sect disciples. Therefore, she had disregarded the consequences and searched for Zhou Yun everywhere. She couldn't help but think of how Zhou Yun had to deal with the spiritual beast in the secret realm and how he had to be ambushed by this group of inner sect disciples. Just the thought of it made her very worried. At this moment, Chao's body was already in a somewhat sorry state. Her hair was disheveled, and it was no longer as smooth as when she first came in. Her face was also covered in dust, and she looked dirty. The dress she was wearing was already torn in a few places, revealing her pink skin. There were too many spiritual beasts chasing her, and she couldn't dodge in time. Compared to Zhou Yun, Chao's situation was obviously more dangerous, but she didn't care at all. She only wanted to find Zhou Yun as soon as possible. Chao flew at a low altitude through the dense forest and arrived near the spirit dot cleansing pond. In order to find Zhou Yun's figure, she flew without caring about the losses. At this time, she had already used up more than half of the spiritual qi in her body. At this moment, she suddenly discovered that a large group of inner sect disciples had gathered at the side of the purifying spirit pond, as if they were dealing with something. Xiao immediately thought that they might be attacking brother Zhou Yun, and she flew out in a hurry. Don't hurt my brother Zhou Yun. Xiao's shout stunned the group of inner disciples. They were not attacking Zhou Yun at this time. Instead, they were attacking the base of the spiritual beasts. This was because their big senior brother needed to enter the center of the spirit dot cleansing pond. Right now, the spirit dot cleansing pond was heavily surrounded by a large group of spiritual beasts. Only by breaking through this encirclement would he be able to enter. Right now, all of their attention was focused on attacking the purifying spirit pond. How could they have the time to attack Zhou Yun? Only when their big senior brother entered the center of the cleansing spirit pool would he have the chance to break through to the legendary tenth layer of qi cultivation and step into a higher level. How could Zhou Yun be more important than big senior brother? Finally, Meng Feiyang came back to his senses. He looked at Xiao's body and sneered. Go and capture her. Use her to lure Zhou Yun over. He was currently commanding the inner sect disciples to attack the spirit dot cleansing pond, and he didn't expect to run into Chiaoer. Since that was the case, he might as well use her to lure Zhou Yun over. After he broke through to the tenth layer of qi cultivation, he would have some fun with them. Meng Feiyang squinted his eyes and the corners of his mouth lifted. He really got what he wanted. After Chiao heard Meng Feiyang's words and combined it with the reactions of the inner sect disciples, she immediately understood that they were not attacking Zhou Yun. Thinking of this, she quickly turned around and flew back. Although there were many Foundation Establishment Stage spirit beasts behind her, compared to this group of Foundation Establishment Stage inner sect disciples, she was actually safer. After the inner sect disciples heard Meng Feiyang's orders, they split into two groups. One group continued to attack the spirit dot cleansing pond, while the other group went after Chiao. Chiao turned around and fled. A large group of spiritual beasts and inner sect disciples followed behind her. She would change directions from time to time in an attempt to shake off this group of people. Without realizing it, she had returned to the spirit dot cleansing pond and even went deeper. As Chiao went deeper into the purifying spirit pond, she encountered more and more spiritual beasts that were blocking her way. Her strength was also getting stronger and stronger. Because there were too many spiritual beasts in front of her, her speed was slowed down, and in the end, she was still caught up and surrounded by the inner sect disciples. The group of inner sect disciples looked at Xiao's embarrassed figure with cold smiles on their faces. Senior brother, since we're already in the depths of the secret realm, why don't we bring her to senior brother after we're done playing with her? 
An inner sect disciple asked with an evil smile. Everyone heard the inner sect disciple's words and couldn't help but look at Xiaoer, who was surrounded, with a hint of fire in their eyes. Xiaoer looked even more disheveled than before. Her hair accessories had long been knocked away, and her hair was disheveled. Her face was also covered in dust, and there were even traces of her tears on the dust. On her body, due to the attacks of the spiritual beast, her clothes had long since been torn apart. Her tender skin was exposed on her calves, arms, and collarbones. The crowd looked at the pitiful and embarrassed shower and licked their lips. They were clearly moved by the words of the inner sect disciple. At this time, the person with the highest cultivation among the crowd frowned and cursed in a low voice when he saw everyone's performance. Are you guys crazy? Junior Sister Chiaor is the most beloved disciple of the sect leader and the elders. If you dare to treat her so badly, once the sect leader and the elders find out, they will skin you alive. Everyone shivered when they heard the senior brother's words. Indeed, Chiaor was the treasure of the sect leader and the elders of the Spirit Valley. If they found out, they would probably be better off dead. And it's best if we don't do anything to Junior Sister. Otherwise, when we get out, the sect leader and the others will still be able to see traces from her body conditions. Now that junior sister Chiaor has been surrounded by us, none of us should move. We only need to put in some spiritual beasts. This way, even if junior sister Chiaor dies, it will have nothing to do with us. The senior brother was more cautious. He wanted to help the eldest brother catch Chiaor, but he didn't want to be discovered by the elders. Not everyone expressed their agreement after hearing this. They immediately opened up a gap and then led in a group of spiritual beasts into the encirclement. Chiawa naturally heard their conversation and felt a wave of despair. Looking at the spiritual beasts that had been lured in, every one of them was at the foundation establishment stage, and all of them were extremely ferocious, Chiawa could only shout in despair towards the sky. Brother Zhou Yun Chapter 33 Easy you are listening at NovelFull.audio Outside the spirit.cleansing pond, Zhou Yun looked at Fang Ping in front of him, a hint of displeasure was on his face. Why did you attack me? Earlier, this Fang Ping had actually sneaked an attack on him while he was focused on the spiritual beasts. If he had not reacted quickly, he would have been seriously injured by now. In the world of cultivators, sneak attacks were contemptible and despised by everyone. Zhou Yun admitted that he had some conflicts with Meng Feiyang, a senior disciple of the inner sect. However, in his heart, he believed that they had only quarreled a little. There was no big conflict between them, not enough to reach the level of life and death hatred. Fang Ping's sneak attack had made Zhou Yun realize that Meng Feiyang might really wanted to kill him. When they had just entered the secret realm, the sect leader had warned them that no one was allowed to kill each other. And under the situation where the sect leader had already warned him, this person in front of him still dared to launch a sneak attack on him. Who gave him the courage? Without Meng Feiyang's permission, the inner disciples wouldn't have dared to do this. Humph, who asked you to block big senior brother's path? Fang Ping snorted coldly. He did not feel embarrassed at all for his actions just now. However, he was also slightly shocked in his heart. Zhou Yun was actually able to dodge his silent sneak attack just now. His reaction speed was somewhat surprising. Although his strength was not ranked, his speed was one of the best among the inner disciples. If it was anyone else, even if they were stronger than him, they would have been seriously injured by his sneak attack. However, Zhou Yun was able to avoid his sneak attack in such an environment. His reaction speed was indeed extraordinary. You're just a piece of trash who sneaked in with the identity of an honorary disciple. What right do you have to block big senior brother's path? Without this identity, you are nothing. Just by talking back to big senior brother, you have already caused public anger. The more Fang Ping spoke, the more agitated he became, as if Zhou Yun had done something unforgivable. Zhou Yun, die. 
With a furious roar, his body grew a few centimeters taller as if it was inflated. His muscles swelled up like balloons. His hands were clenched into fists, and with a sliding step, he appeared in front of Zhou Yun in a flash. His fist was aimed at Zhou Yun's face. This punch had long surpassed the speed of sound. It was as fast as lightning, directly tearing through the air. With a sonic boom, it headed towards Zhou Yun, vividly displaying the speed and strength of a foundation establishment stage expert. Zhou Yun, on the other hand, seemed to have yet to react. He stood on the ground, unmoving. Just as he was about to hit Zhou Yun, a cold smile appeared on Fang Ping's face. Although Zhou Yun's reaction speed had surprised him, that was all. Trash was trash. If he was not strong enough, it was useless no matter how fast his reaction speed was. Ah, since that's the case, let me see what the foundation establishment stage can do. Zhou Yun sighed. He raised the sword in his hand and slashed it lightly at Fang Ping. This stroke looked very slow, light and without any strength. However, Fang Ping's expression changed drastically. In his eyes, this sword had already been waved hundreds of times in the blink of an eye. Each time it was swung, it brought with it sword intent. In the end, hundreds of sword intents stacked up one after another. The power after stacking up was terrifying to the extreme. Not good, I can't block it, dodge. Fang Ping could feel the power contained in Zhou Yun's stroke. He quickly retracted his fist and dodged at an even faster speed. Swoosh! A sword ray streaked across. The spirit trees in front of Zhou Yun were all cut down at the waist. The surface of the cut was as smooth as a mirror. Buzz! After that, Fang Ping heard another sonic boom. The speed of Zhou Yun's sword had also exceeded the speed of sound. It was even faster than his previous punch. Sword intent. And it's not even the elementary level of sword intent. Fang Ping's eyes widened. He could not believe his eyes at all. Should I advance or retreat? Fang Ping looked at the scene in front of him and started hesitating. When Zhou Yun had displayed his sword technique earlier, he had felt an unstoppable force. If he had not dodged quickly, he would have been cut in half at the waist like those spirit trees. Run. Fang Ping immediately made up his mind. Then, he turned around and ran. He had just flown a hundred meters, and before Fang Ping could even catch his breath, he suddenly felt extreme danger behind him. He turned his head to look and saw a sword gleam following him. This sword ray had a larger range, stronger power, and faster speed than the previous one, making it impossible for him to dodge. Fang Ping's eyes twitched violently as he looked at the sword gleam. Then, he threw a punch at the sword gleam with all his might. This punch directly used all of his cultivation and strength. He believed that even a diamond the size of a millstone would be crushed by this punch. However, as soon as the fist radiance he released came into contact with the sword radiance, it was immediately cut apart without any resistance. Impossible. As soon as he finished speaking, the sword ray cut through his waist and flew even further behind him. Everything in its path was cut in half. Fang Ping immediately calmed down. He had never felt so calm before. He took a pill and asked Zhou Yun, who was in front of him, how did you enter the state of enlightenment so easily? Don't ask. The only answer I can give you is talent. I'm also very troubled. Zhou Yun was very calm. Hearing Zhou Yun's words, Fang Ping's face broke into a wry smile. All right. Do you have any questions? After Zhou Yun left, Fang Ping seemed to have lost all his strength. His eyelids drooped, and his upper body fell to the ground with a loud thud. He was no longer breathing. Do Viko it turned out that Zhou Yun's sword had already cut him in half. The only reason he could hold on until now was because of the healing pill he had taken. On the other side, Zhou Yun was flying rapidly in the direction of the spirit dot cleansing pond. He had just learned of big martial brother Meng Feiyang's plan and was preparing to intercept him. 
After a long journey, he finally arrived at his destination. However, the moment he arrived, he heard Xiaor's desperate screams. Brother Zhou Yun. Hearing Xiaor's voice, Zhou Yun thought of a possibility and quickly flew in her direction. The moment he arrived, Zhou Yun saw a scene that made him extremely angry. At this moment, Xiaor, who had been calling him, Brother Zhou Yun, was trapped in the middle of a group of spiritual beasts and was struggling to stay alive. Her petite body was like a flower that was being hit by the wind and rain. There was also a group of inner sect disciples near the group of spiritual beasts. They were talking and laughing as they looked at Xiaor's condition, as if they did not see Xiaor, who could not hold on any longer. With junior sister Xiaor as bait, it'll be much easier for us to take the spirit. Cleansing pond. When Zhou Yun heard this, he was instantly infuriated. He immediately mobilized all the spiritual qi in his body and activated the setting sun sword intent and charged towards Xiaor. Chapter 34 Spiritual Beasts You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Seeing Xiaor was struggling to stay alive, Zhou Yun immediately used all his spiritual qi to activate the setting sun sword intent and charged at Xiaor. The setting sun sword intent brought him like a beam of light, breaking through the layers of encirclement in an instant. Zhou Yun charged through the group of spiritual beasts and successfully arrived in front of Xiaor. Looking at the spiritual beasts pouncing toward Xiaor, Zhou Yun raised his sword and slashed with all his might. A sword light flashed, and the spiritual beasts were instantly cut in half. Xiaor, are you hurt? Hearing the familiar voice, Xiaor, who was still struggling to resist, was stunned and looked up. Brother Zhou Yun, whom she had been thinking about so much, had suddenly come to her side. Xiaor immediately let down her guard. Her big red eyes were filled with tears as she hugged Zhou Yun. Brother Zhou Yun, is it you? Zhou Yun's heart ached when he heard Xiaor's aggrieved and soft voice. It's me. I'm here. Zhou Yun pulled the young girl into his arms and stroked her little head, smoothening her hair. The tears in Xiaor's eyes finally fell, and the dust on her face was also wet and stuck to her face, making her look like a dirty kitten. I'm not dreaming, right? Xiaor rubbed her eyes, which were already red, in disbelief. It's me. Your brother Zhou Yun is here. I'll protect you from now on. Zhou Yun's voice was low and his eyes were filled with killing intent. The actions of the inner sect disciples had successfully angered him. If he had the chance, he would definitely make these people pay the price. After Zhou Yun killed a few more spiritual beasts, he picked Xiaor up. He suppressed the killing intent in his heart and prepared to break through the encirclement of the spiritual beasts. Now, his own strength was too small. If he had a conflict with the other party, the result would not be good. Therefore, he was prepared to improve his strength first. When his strength reached a certain level, he would settle the score with these people. After picking Xiaor up, Zhou Yun activated the setting sun sword intent again and rushed outside. A flash of sword dot light streaked across the sky. Zhou Yun carried Xiaor and followed the sword dot light, breaking through the spiritual beast's encirclement and arriving at the spirit dot cleansing pond. Meng Feiyang was commanding the inner sect disciples to attack the spiritual beasts in the cleansing spirit pond when a bright light suddenly flashed in front of him. It immediately alerted him. After taking a closer look, he saw that there was another person following behind the sword light. This person was Zhou Yun, and he was currently carrying Xiaor in his arms. Meng Feiyang reacted immediately and punched Zhou Yun. He didn't expect Zhou Yun to see him. Zhou Yun pulled out his sword and activated his sword intent, then threw it at Meng Feiyang. The sword intent and the fist radiance formed by the fist collided in an instant. As soon as they came into contact, a huge explosion was immediately produced. Bang! With a loud bang, Zhou Yun, who was closer to the explosion, was sent flying by the shockwave and landed in the spirit dot cleansing pond. Meng Feiyang was also knocked back by the explosion. He watched as Zhou Yun fell into the water with Xiaor in his arms. 
Meng Feiyang's face darkened as he watched the two of them fall into the pool. Big senior brother, what happened just now? I think there was an explosion just now. Senior brother, are you hurt? Senior brother, what's wrong? Everyone came over to ask after hearing the explosion. Dot, I'm fine. Go and call back the people who were chasing Xiao just now. Everyone, let's put in more effort. We're about to break through. Meng Fei. Ang's eyes darkened, but he didn't say anything. Yes, senior brother. After everyone had gathered, they continued to attack the spirit. Cleansing pond. When the last illusionary spirit beast was killed, everyone finally breathed a sigh of relief. After leaving behind a few people to collect the spirit. Cleansing liquid, the rest of the people directly rushed towards the spirit. Cleansing pool. At this moment, the area outside the spirit. Cleansing pond was filled with the corpses of the spiritual beasts. The inner sect disciples had only managed to break through the main camp after such a long period of time. The number of spiritual beasts they had killed was uncountable, and the amount of spirit. Cleansing liquid they had left behind was also uncountable. All of this spirit. Cleansing liquid would be enough for them to cleanse all of the spiritual chi in their bodies. They might even have some extra and could bring it back to the spirit valley to exchange for resources. The few people who stayed behind looked at the corpses all over the ground and were extremely excited. The other group of inner sect disciples arrived at the side of the pond where the spiritual beast lived after entering the spirit. Cleansing pond. Everyone, take a break and quickly recover your spiritual chi. There will be a tough battle to fight later. Hearing Meng Feiyang's instructions, everyone sat down cross-legged and began to recover their spiritual qi. Some took out spiritual stones and began to absorb them, while others took out a few pills and threw them into their mouths. Then, they closed their eyes and started cultivating. Meng Feiyang also sat on the ground with his legs crossed, thinking about his plan. He had just watched Zhou Yun fall in with Xiao in his arms, but now they had not even noticed their shadows. It seemed that they had already been eaten by the spiritual beast at the later foundation establishment stage. Zhou Yun was a qi cultivation stage trash and did not have much strength. Xiao, on the other hand, had already used up all of her spiritual qi. If she encountered that spiritual beast, she would most likely be swallowed in one bite without even being able to resist. Thinking of this, Meng Feiyang's gloomy face suddenly showed a smile, you can't blame me for this. Zhou Yun, you ran in here of your own accord. Meng Fei Dadong stood up and said to everyone after they had rested, this time, we're going to deal with a later foundation establishment stage spiritual beast. His strength is completely different from the spiritual beast we've dealt with outside the cave. Everyone must be careful. As long as we kill this spiritual beast, we'll have succeeded. Then, he took out a packet of powder. This is a special powder that is specially used to attract spiritual beasts. You, go and sprinkle this powder into the water. After the spiritual beast comes out, everyone will immediately start attacking with all their might. Try to kill this spiritual beast in the shortest time possible. Yes, senior brother. All the inner disciples present had excitement in their eyes as they replied in unison. At the edge of the spirit. Cleansing pond, an inner sect disciple was holding a bag of medicinal powder and slowly sprinkling it into the water. Behind him, all the inner sect disciples had taken out their magic tools and various lethal weapons, preparing to attack with all their might. After the medicinal powder was sprinkled into the water, the disciple quickly retreated into the crowd, took out his magic tool, and stared at the water. In a short while, the water surface began to bubble like boiling water. Seeing this, everyone activated their magical equipment and waited in anticipation. The bubbles in the pond grew larger and more concentrated. Finally, the bubbles disappeared and turned into ripples. Seeing this scene, everyone held their breath. Suddenly, a huge figure rushed out of the water and rose into the air, bringing with it a huge wave. Everyone who saw this scene couldn't help but exclaim. The spiritual beast is out. Chapter 35 
Spirit.Cleansing Liquid You are listening at NovelFull.Audio A huge monster rose up from the water and finally smashed onto the surface of the water, directly splashing out the Spirit.Cleansing Liquid in the pool. Everyone present held their breaths when they saw this scene. The spiritual beast is out. Roar. As soon as the spiritual beast came out, it immediately roared madly at the inner sect disciples on the shore, instantly bringing about a huge gust of wind. Everyone present was stunned by the scene in front of them and forgot to attack. This spiritual beast was different from the ones they had encountered before. It was much bigger and looked even more ferocious, and everyone was stunned by the aura it gave off. After the illusionary spirit beast came out, it seemed to have been possessed by some kind of demon. It was in a very crazed state. After a series of roars, it directly charged toward Meng Feiyang. Some of the inner disciples realized that the spirit beast was heading toward Meng Feiyang and shouted, Protect Big Senior Brother. The others were also awoken by this shout. Seeing the spiritual beast directly rushing toward Meng Feiyang, they quickly launched their magic artifacts to attack. The battle between the two sides started at once. The inner sect disciples attacked the spiritual beast in a frenzy. All kinds of magic weapons emerged one after another, and the cave suddenly flashed with various colors of light. On the other side of the water, when Zhou Yun heard the commotion, he immediately relaxed. It was obvious that the inner sect disciples were in the middle of a battle with the spiritual beast. I heard that this spiritual beast is the mother of all the spiritual beasts in the entire secret realm. It has the strength of a late dot stage foundation establishment cultivator and is extremely powerful. Even with so many inner disciples attacking, it should take a long time to take it down. Now that he was safe for the time being, Zhou Yun recalled the words he had heard from Fang Ping when he met him outside the spirit dot cleansing pond. If it was really as that person had said, that the spirit dot cleansing pond contained an opportunity to break through to the tenth layer, then he would not let this opportunity slip by. He had to snatch it back from Meng Feiyang. After secretly coming up with a plan, Zhou Yun looked at Xiao, who was in his arms. Xiao had overused her spiritual qi just now, and she was very weak. When the two of them jumped into the pond, Chower's fair face was exposed after being washed by the water. Looking at Chower's cute little face, she was still smiling sweetly even though she was unconscious. Zhou Yun's guard was lifted by this smile. Once he relaxed, he immediately felt weak. After checking his body, he realized that the spiritual qi in his body had been completely exhausted because he had continuously used the waning sun sword technique and saved Chower with his full strength. Zhou Yun consumed a few pills. While he was absorbing the pills to recover his spirit energy, he began to explore his surroundings. Just like that, he swam in the water with Chao in his arms. After a while, Chao also sensed the movement on the shore and woke up. When she woke up, she saw brother Zhou Yun, who she had been thinking about so much, hugging her. So it wasn't a dream just now. Xiao had a blissful smile on her face, but she was secretly surprised in her heart. Xiao looked at Zhou Yun's determined face. When she realized that he had not realized that she had woken up, she immediately thought of a plan and a sly smile appeared on her face. Zhou Yun's attention was focused on the front, so he did not notice that Xiao had woken up. Zhou Yun was swimming when he suddenly heard a soft voice from his arms. He immediately lowered his head to check. In the end, what he saw was Chao's sly smile. Zhou Yun knew that this was bad and quickly prepared to raise his head. However, it was too late. Chao wrapped her arms around Zhou Yun's neck, making him unable to move. Then, she bit down on his mouth. Chao's hands were tightly wrapped around Zhou Yun's neck, and she immediately kissed him. Her little tongue was like a small fish that kept drilling into Zhou Yun's mouth. Zhou Yun's mouth was immediately filled with a sweet taste. After a long time, Chao finally stopped, and a satisfied smile appeared on her face. It's been stamped. Brother Zhou Yun, you're mine from now on. When we go back, we'll have a baby. 
Zhou Yun looked at Xiao Er, who was like a little fox, and laughed bitterly in his heart. Xiao Er, come down. I don't want to. I want to have your children. You can't give birth like this. Then what should I do? I can learn. Hearing Xiao Er's words, Zhou Yun was instantly defeated. He coughed a few times before he recovered. Not long after, Zhou Yun brought Xiao Er to the deeper parts of the spirit dot cleansing pond. As Xiao Er was unwilling to part with Zhou Yun, she clung on to his neck tightly. Helplessly, Zhou Yun allowed her to go behind him while he carried her and continued swimming. After Xiao Er came to Zhou Yun's back, she pressed her entire body against his back. Zhou Yun was stunned when he felt Xiao Er's movement. Then, he felt his entire back being covered by a soft touch. Because they were in the water, their clothes were already wet and stuck to their bodies. Now that Xiao Er was leaning over, Zhou Yun immediately felt a very clear touch on his back. Brother Zhou Yun, what's wrong? Xiao Er saw that Zhou Yun was stunned for a moment and thought that he was tired, so she quickly asked. Brother Zhou Yun, are you tired? Do you want me to carry you? Zhou Yun was immediately amused by Xiao Er's words. Thinking of Xiao Er's petite body, Zhou Yun couldn't help but shake his head. Xiao Er's head was almost as tall as his shoulders. It would be too ugly for her to carry him on her back. Although Xiao Er was sometimes as mischievous as a little fox, she was always thinking of him. This made Zhou Yun feel touched. I'm not tired. The two of them continued to swim forward. No, it was Zhou Yun who continued to swim forward with Xiao Er. Along the way, the two of them walked and stopped, chatting and strolling underwater. They looked like they were on a scenic tour, and those who didn't know would think that they were on a vacation. Brother Zhou Yun, why are you changing the topic the moment I mention having children? Because it's not a time to talk about it at the moment, we'll talk about it later. Oh. Brother Zhou Yun, I've been thinking about you every day. Did you miss me? Hearing Xiao Er's words, Zhou Yun recalled the scenes after he entered the secret realm. Yes, I've missed you. Ha, huh, I knew it. The two of them laughed as they swam deeper into the pool. At this moment, Zhou Yun suddenly noticed a flash of light in a crack in the ground in front of him. Xiao Er stopped smiling. The two of them looked at each other and immediately swam toward the crack. The well dot behaved Xiao Er let go of Zhou Yun's neck and swam alone. When the two of them arrived at the crack, they could see a faint aura drifting out from it. Feeling that this aura was extremely familiar, Zhou Yun smiled. It's very similar to the aura of the spirit dot cleansing liquid. It should be the same thing. Chapter 36 Wailing you are listening at novel full dot audio. Zhou Yun excitedly opened up the crack in front of him and was surprised to find a small puddle below. This is the spirit dot cleansing pond. No, it feels a little different. Could it be? Zhou Yun looked at the small puddle in front of him and frowned slightly. Xiao Er went up to take a look and was stunned. Her voice was filled with excitement and surprise. This is Spirit dot cleansing essence. Spirit dot cleansing essence. That's right. The spirit dot cleansing essence is something even rarer than the spirit dot cleansing pond. Other than being able to purify spiritual qi like the spirit dot cleansing pond, it is said that it also has the effect of cleansing divine sense, and. At this moment, Xiao was interrupted by Zhou Yun's surprised voice. Cleansing divine sense. But I don't have any divine sense in qi cultivation. Xiao er pouted and walked forward. Brother Zhou Yun, can you let me finish first? All right, all right. Zhou Yun smiled and quickly agreed. Looking at Xiao er pouting when she was angry, Zhou Yun suddenly had the urge to pinch her soft lips when he thought of the kiss earlier. Xiao er's little face puffed up, like a little goldfish blowing bubbles, she was extremely cute. Dot, for foundation establishment cultivators, the spirit dot cleansing essence has the effect of cleansing their divine sense. 
For qi cultivation cultivators, it can help them awaken their divine sense in advance, creating a unique advantage for qi cultivation cultivators. Hearing Xiaoer's words, Zhou Yun immediately gasped. Everyone knew that the biggest difference between the foundation establishment stage and the qi cultivation stage, other than the aspect of spiritual qi, was the divine sense. Because foundation establishment cultivators had divine sense, they could always find enemies from a long distance, and even if they couldn't see with their eyes, as long as the enemy made a small move, they could be detected by divine sense. Back then, Fang Ping had been able to detect Zhou Yun in advance because of the effect of his divine sense. If it had not been for Zhou Yun's own sensitivity to danger, he would have been dead by now. Thinking of this, Zhou Yun looked excitedly at the small puddle under the crack. It was filled with that kind of thing, but as time passed, more than half of it had disappeared. If I were to awaken my divine sense in qi cultivation, then the only advantage the foundation establishment stage has for me would no longer be there. In a situation where everyone has their divine sense, I would be able to fight even an intermediate of foundation establishment stage cultivator. After Zhou Yun muttered to himself, he looked at Xiaoer. Xiaoer, are the things inside enough for us to cultivate? Although there isn't much spirit dot cleansing essence in here, it's enough for two people. From the traces of liquid in the puddle, there should have been a lot of spirit dot cleansing essence, but because too much time has passed, most of it has slowly dissipated. There's only half left, but it's enough. After hearing Xiaoer's words, Zhou Yun excitedly stepped forward and held Xiaoer's small, smooth hand. Xiaoer, time is of the essence. Let's just start absorbing it. You can use it to purify your divine sense, and I'll awaken it. Xiaoer blushed when she felt her hand being held. She raised her head and looked at Zhou Yun with tenderness in her eyes. Brother Zhou Yun, I don't need to cleanse my spirit. This spirit dot cleansing essence has little effect on me. It's not as useful as you absorbing it. No matter how small the effect is, it should at least have some effect, right? And can't the spirit dot cleansing essence also strengthen the foundation? Zhou Yun asked in confusion. Big brother Zhou Yun, I've already cultivated to the foundation establishment stage, so I no longer need to cleanse my divine sense. Do you know why Master accepted me as his disciple with a single glance? Zhou Yun immediately shook his head when he heard Xiaoer's words. After he had rescued Xiaoer and brought her to Spirit Heart Valley, an elder had taken her away. After that, Xiaoer was known as the most talented disciple in Spirit Valley. Brother Zhou Yun, the reason why he accepted me as his disciple was because I had a perfect foundation. A perfect foundation. Zhou Yun was shocked to see Xiaoer proudly stick out her chest and raise her head. Brother Zhou Yun, time is of the essence. You should hurry up and absorb it. You are now in the qi cultivation stage. The more spirit dot cleansing essence you absorb, the more useful it will be for you. I will protect you. Xiaoer noticed the way Zhou Yun was looking at her and immediately said with a smile. All right. Zhou Yun stopped struggling. He sat cross-legged beside the pond and began to absorb. As the essence entered his body, Zhou Yun immediately felt his body become cool and comfortable. Slowly, Zhou Yun felt the spiritual qi in his body being removed like silk being extracted from a cocoon. And after hearing these things, he immediately felt a lot more relaxed. Huff. After exhaling a mouthful of turbid air, Zhou Yun continued to absorb. In the later period of time, Zhou Yun felt his bones slowly becoming lighter. This was tempering his foundation. After tempering his foundation, he could attempt to break through to the tenth level. After a long time, Xiao saw that Zhou Yun had finished absorbing the spirit dot cleansing essence beside him, but he still did not wake up. She was worried. At this moment, a dark blue energy suddenly emerged from Zhou Yun's body. Xiao smiled in surprise when she noticed it. Brother Zhou Yun has awakened his divine sense. Zhou Yun was also smiling. He had already seen Xiao's smiling face and all the details on her body. 
he could even see a single strand of hair on her body. However, he did not open his eyes, as this was the effect of his divine sense. The moment the blue energy was released from his body, he had seen every detail of Chiaor's body. The effect of divine sense is really too powerful. It can instantly see through everyone. Doesn't that mean that in the future? As Zhou Yun thought about it, the corners of his mouth curled up into a faint smile. At this moment, Chiaor's face was red as she spoke softly. Brother Zhou Yun, I can feel that you are looking at my chest. Just as Chiaor finished speaking, Zhou Yun's back suddenly stiffened. Brother Zhou Yun, the divine sense is not omnipotent. At the same cultivation level, others can sense your divine sense. Although your divine sense can see all the details within a certain range, if someone's cultivation level is higher than yours, they can block your divine sense from you. And just now, when Brother Zhou Yun's divine sense was looking at me, I had already sensed it. It was just that I didn't block it. Hearing Chiaor's words, Zhou Yun's face reddened. He quickly retracted his divine sense and calmed down, preparing to break through to the tenth layer. Earlier, he had split his mind into two. One was to observe Chiaor with his divine sense, while the other was to feel the changes in his body's spiritual qi. In just a short while, he felt that there were faint signs of a breakthrough. Half an hour later, the roars of tigers and leopards came from Zhou Yun's body. In an instant, he felt that his entire body was filled with explosive power, and his spiritual qi had also improved significantly. Tenth Layer of Qi Cultivation I've broken through. Zhou Yun slowly opened his eyes with a smile on his face. In the moment of his breakthrough, not only did the spiritual qi in his body increase significantly, but even the sword intent and sword techniques he cultivated had also improved. He felt that the power he had now was the limit of the qi cultivation stage. He was probably more than five times stronger than before he had broken through. At this moment, the wail of a spiritual beast could be heard from afar, followed by the cheers of the inner sect disciples. Chapter 37 Kill Zhou Yun You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Roar Nov Oma wail rang out from a distance, followed by the cheers of the inner sect disciples. The two of them immediately understood that the group of inner sect disciples had successfully defeated the foundation establishment stage spiritual beast. It seems that they have already defeated that spiritual beast. If nothing goes wrong, the spirit dot cleansing liquid will be out soon. Zhou Yun said as he looked at Xiaoer. Xiaoer also looked at Zhou Yun, and the two of them smiled at each other. They could see a hint of slyness in each other's eyes. This group of inner sect disciples had fought for so long to defeat this spiritual beast, which was enough to prove the strength of this spiritual beast. The spiritual beast spirit dot cleansing liquid must have been very useful. Now that the spiritual beast was dead, it was time to collect the fruit. However, who was the one who had collected the fruit? Meng Feiyang and the others had been fighting for a long time, and their spiritual qi was almost exhausted. If they took the spirit dot cleansing liquid away now, no one would be able to catch up. He was not afraid even if they caught up to him. Zhou Yun had his own life dot saving tricks. Before he came to the secret realm, he had been constantly refining pills and then using them to exchange for various resources. After three months of accumulation, the resources on him were rich enough that he was not afraid of any foundation establishment stage cultivator. Thinking of this, a smile crept on Zhou Yun's face. It must have been very hard for them to take down this spiritual beast, right? Since they're working so hard, how about we snatch this drop of spirit dot cleansing liquid? Xiaoer nodded her head repeatedly. Her big eyes had already curved into crescents, and she was grinning from ear to ear. She was smiling like a little fox. After their discussion, the two of them quickly swam toward the spiritual beast and quietly waited for it to produce the spirit dot cleansing liquid. At this moment, a group of inner sect disciples were taking medicine to treat their injuries near the foundation establishment stage spiritual beast. After the battle just now, 
they had already used up more than half of the spiritual chi in their bodies. If it weren't for the support of all kinds of spiritual weapons and magical items, they would have almost been annihilated by this spiritual beasts. Even with the support of the equipment, their losses were not small. Many of them were injured, and they might even fall ill in the future. Some of the inner disciples had already closed their eyes forever, never to open them again. However, none of them regretted it because everything they did was for their big senior brother. Their big senior brother's goal of advancing to tenth layer of qi cultivation was finally going to be achieved at this moment. Everyone present was very happy. Meng Feiyang was also very happy. In fact, he was ecstatic. However, he didn't dare to smile because he didn't want to hurt the inner disciple's feelings. After forcefully suppressing the ecstasy in his heart, Meng Feiyang focused all his attention on this spiritual beast. Because this spiritual beast was at the later foundation establishment stage, it was much stronger than the spiritual beasts he had fought before, so it took longer to produce the spirit dot cleansing liquid. All the disciples had put away their weapons and were staring at their big senior brother, Meng Feiyang, with excitement in their eyes. A moment later, the spiritual beast's body suddenly emitted a burst of dazzling light. Everyone present knew that the spirit dot cleansing liquid was about to appear. Upon seeing this, everyone on the shore was filled with excitement. Some of them even had tears in their eyes. Their big senior brother was finally going to enter the legendary realm. Meng Feiyang couldn't help but smile. He took a deep breath and suppressed the ecstasy in his heart. Under the excited eyes of everyone present, he walked step by step toward the fallen spiritual beast. If I walk out of the secret realm at the tenth layer of qi cultivation, the sect leader and Wani will definitely be happy for me. Meng Feiyang had already begun to fantasize about how the sect leader and the elders would look at him in a new light after he advanced to the tenth level of the qi refining stage. He even imagined how Su Wani would excitedly throw herself into his arms, wanting to become his cultivation partner. He even thought about Zhou Yun's expression when he knelt down and begged for mercy. At this moment, he could no longer suppress the ecstatic smile on his face. He laughed as he stretched out his right hand, ready to pick up the drop of spirit dot cleansing liquid two steps away. Right at this moment, the water of the purifying spirit pond suddenly splashed in all directions. Two figures rose up into the sky with the waves. Just as Meng Feiyang raised his head, he saw Zhou Yun and Xiao riding rainbow lights out of the water. They arrived in front of him, grabbed the drop of spirit dot cleansing liquid right in front of his eyes, and turned to run. The two of them moved so smoothly that Meng Feiyang didn't even have a chance to react. He was stunned on the spot, and his right hand froze. He stared blankly at the Zhou Yun and Xiao who were gradually running further away. He was instantly dumbfounded, and even the smile on his face did not have time to disappear. The inner sect disciples nearby were watching Meng Feiyang walking toward the spiritual beast excitedly. Suddenly, the water in the spirit dot cleansing pond rose up like a wave and slapped onto their bodies. In the blink of an eye, everyone became a group of drenched chickens. Everyone was stunned by this sudden situation. After a while, Meng Feiyang finally reacted. The smile on his face turned into anger and killing intent. Without any process, his joy turned into anger. Hurry up and go after them. Meng Feiyang roared in anger. His voice was deafening, and it immediately woke up all the inner disciples. The inner sect disciples present were also dumbfounded by this sudden turn of events. With confusion in their eyes, they hurriedly chased after Zhou Yun and his partner. It took them quite a while before they could react. Then, they quickly increased their speed and went after them. Meng Feiyang also found a fast inner disciple to carry him and chase after Zhou Yun. He was trembling and gasping for air. After a long while, he finally recovered. The change in his state of mind from ecstasy to fury had almost damaged his cultivation heart and caused his cultivation level to drop. At this moment, his eyes were fixed on Zhou Yun, and a strong killing intent burst out from them. Zhou Yun, you must die today. 
If the situation just now had happened to anyone else, they would have been so angry that they would have spat out blood and died. The group of inner sect disciples did their best to chase after Zhou Yun, but what shocked them was that no matter how hard they tried, they could only see Zhou Yun's figure. They could not catch up to him. Zhou Yun's flying speed was extremely fast, completely unlike the speed of a qi cultivation cultivator. In fact, it was even faster than the flying speed of foundation establishment cultivators. Meng Feiyang also saw the situation. After thinking for a while with his remaining rationality, he was surprised. Could it be that he's already at the tenth layer of the qi cultivation stage? When he thought back to Zhou Yun's speed when he met him, he realized that Zhou Yun was not as fast as he was now. He immediately understood that Zhou Yun had broken through the tenth layer of qi cultivation before he did. Thinking of this, Meng Feiyang was both jealous and angry. Everyone, speed up. This time, we must kill Zhou Yun at all costs. Chapter 38 Joy you are listening at NovelFull.audio On the other side, Zhou Yun and Xiao were laughing as they ran. Their laughter was so loud that it reached the ears of Meng Feiyang and the others. They gritted their teeth and glared at Zhou Yun and Xiao. Zhou Yun, you must die today. Meng Feiyang ordered as he saw that Zhou Yun and the others seemed to have reached some sort of balance. Although they could see Zhou Yun's figure, they couldn't catch up to him. Let's keep going, everyone. If you have any speed dot increasing magical items or talismans, just use them. We must catch up to them. The inner sect disciples looked pained when they heard Meng Feiyang's words. When they were fighting the later foundation establishment spiritual beast, they had used up all their offensive magical items and spiritual qi replenishing pills. Now they had to use their speed magical items. This time, not only did they not get anything from the secret realm, but they had also used up all their resources. However, even though everyone had this thought, they still sent out their magic treasures and speed talismans. They had no complaints about their senior brother, so they could only vent all their anger on Zhou Yun. After everyone used their speed dot type magical items, their flying speed immediately increased by a large amount. In a few seconds, they were getting closer to Zhou Yun. They could already see Zhou Yun clearly from their initial blurry vision. Seeing this scene, the heartache in everyone's eyes disappeared, and they all revealed looks of joy. Dot, we're getting closer, we'll catch up soon. Zhou Yun, who was in front of the crowd, could also feel the increase in the speed of the inner sect disciples behind him. He hurriedly increased his speed to the limit. The moment he increased his speed, Zhou Yun immediately felt the spiritual qi in his body depleting at an accelerated rate, as if it would be used up in the next moment. As Zhou Yun's speed increased, the distance between them widened again. Meng Feiyang and the others chased after Zhou Yun, maintaining the previous balance. Zhou Yun won't be able to hold on for long. Using the talismans will consume less of our spiritual qi, but he will consume more. As long as we can hold on, it won't be long before Zhou Yun's spiritual qi is exhausted. Meng Feiyang cheered everyone up again, but he was telling the truth. They were using speed talismans to catch up. They only needed to inject a small amount of spiritual qi to burst out with amazing speed. Although they were still far away from Zhou Yun, Zhou Yun used his own spiritual power to increase his speed, which consumed a lot of spiritual power. He was bound to not be able to last long. After Meng Feiyang finished speaking, the group of inner sect disciples showed a trace of joy on their faces, as if victory was right in front of them. In fact, after going through so many battles, their spiritual qi had almost been exhausted. If it were not for these speed items, they would have been left behind by Zhou Yun. But after Meng Feiyang's encouragement, they all gritted their teeth and kept on going. In a short while, Zhou Yun's speed had also slowed down. The spiritual qi in his body had almost been exhausted. After all, he had used his own spiritual qi to increase his speed, while the group of inner sect disciples behind him had used speed talismans. In comparison, he needed to consume much more spiritual qi. 
Seeing Zhou Yun slow down, Meng Feiyang quickly ordered everyone to speed up and catch up. In just a few moments, Zhou Yun had been caught up. Sensing that the inner sect disciples had caught up to them, Zhou Yun brought Xiao er to a stop. After the two of them stopped, they immediately took a few spirit qi replenishing pills. What do we do? Xiao er looked at Zhou Yun with worry. Don't worry, there will be a way. Hearing Zhou Yun's words, Xiao er's small hand merely grabbed Zhou Yun's. Why don't you leave first and I'll cover you? You're their target, so they won't do anything to me. Looking at Xiao er's reddened eyes, Zhou Yun suddenly recalled what the group of inner sect disciples had said to him when he was saving Xiao er, and he immediately refused. No need, we'll leave together later. Trust me, I have a way. While the two were talking, Meng Feiyang and the others were already ten meters away from them. Zhou Yun, hand over that drop of spirit.cleansing liquid. It's impossible for you to leave the secret realm with it. There's no need for us to become enemies because of this drop of spirit.cleansing liquid. What do you think? As long as you hand it over, all the grudges between us will be written off. We can even become friends, brothers, and manage the inner disciples together. Isn't that better? Zhou Yun listened to Meng Feiyang's words while staring at the inner sect disciples behind him. When he saw the speed talismans on their legs, Zhou Yun's eyes lit up and his mouth curved up. He already knew that with his speed, he would be caught up by this group of inner sect disciples sooner or later. After all, he was only at the tenth layer of the qi cultivation stage, and the total amount of spiritual qi he had couldn't be as much as the foundation establishment stage. However, after so many battles, this group of inner sect disciples did not have much spiritual qi left in their bodies. After such a comparison, both sides were equal. If that was all, he still wouldn't be able to shake off this group of people. He couldn't possibly keep running, right? They would have to leave the secret realm eventually. Therefore, he was waiting. He was waiting for the group of inner sect disciples to use their speed. Increasing magical items. He was waiting for their speed talismans to run out. If he used the speed talisman again at this time, they would not be able to catch up. Meng Feiyang saw the smile on Zhou Yun's face and thought that he was tempted. As long as you hand over the spirit. Cleansing liquid, I can use other cultivation resources to exchange for it. Ha ha ha. Zhou Yun laughed at Meng Feiyang's words and then mocked him. Give you the spirit. Cleansing liquid. In your F asterisk king dreams. Before he could finish his sentence, Zhou Yun stuffed the entire bottle of spirit. Cleansing liquid into Xiao's mouth. Then, he raised his magical item and waved it in front of him. A sword light carrying the setting sun sword intent immediately flew toward Meng Feiyang and the others. After all this was done, Zhou Yun took out a few speed talismans and stuck them on himself and Xiao's bodies. Do you think that all the pills I've refined during this period of time were for nothing? After saying that, Zhou Yun held Xiao's hand and rose into the air. The two of them shot out like supersonic planes. A second later, a sonic boom reached everyone's ears. It was obvious that the two of them were flying at a speed that far exceeded the speed of sound. The inner sect disciples looked in shock at the Zhou Yun and Xiao er who were gradually disappearing. They were once again stunned. How could they chase him? Because they had desperately chased after them just now, the spiritual qi in their bodies had basically been exhausted. It was impossible to catch up with them, not to mention that the two of them were flying at supersonic speed. They might not even be able to find them now. Meng Feiyang spat out a mouthful of blood as he watched the two escape again. He stared at the sky in grief and anger. He could no longer suppress the anger in his heart after experiencing two highs and lows in a row. Zhou Yun, I will kill you in this life. Chapter 39 The Arrival of the Sect Leader You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio Zhou Yun, I will kill you in this life. Blood was dripping from the corner of Meng Feiyang's mouth. His eyes were full of fire as he shouted at the sky. 
All the birds in the east of the secret realm seemed to feel his killing intent and flew away in shock. Zhou Yun, who had already flown far away, sneezed. He didn't hear Meng Feiyang's angry roar, but he knew that Meng Feiyang was scolding him. However, Zhou Yun didn't care. Instead, he smiled. This is the price you pay for bullying Chiaowar. When Chiaowar saw Zhou Yun sneeze, she thought that he had caught a cold from flying too high. She quickly pulled up the small coat on her body and prepared to take it off. Brother Zhou Yun, are you cold? You can wear my clothes. As Chiaowar spoke, she was about to take off her coat. Zhou Yun's right eye twitched when he saw Chiaowar's jacket. Chiaowar was petite to begin with, and her jacket was not even the size of two of his palms. How could he possibly fit into it? Moreover, he was wearing Chiaowar's coat. If her master saw him when he left the secret realm, he might think that Zhou Yun had done something to Chiaowar. At that time, wouldn't he be beaten to death? Zhou Yun quickly organized his thoughts. No need, let's hurry out of the secret realm. Outside the secret realm. Sect Master Ling Qingyun and the Spirit Valley Elders were waiting at the entrance. Because there was only one teleportation gate in the secret realm, the entrance and exit were all in the same place. This group of white dot haired old men waited for the crowd while discussing when they would come out. As they chatted, they talked about the tenth layer of qi cultivation stage. After all, this was also their original intention for letting everyone enter the secret realm to train. Sect leader, do you think that there will be someone who will break through to the tenth layer of qi cultivation this time? Ling Qingyun turned around and saw an old man in a grey Taoist robe. He was Meng Feiyang's master. Ling Qingyun had a slight smile on his face. He naturally knew why the Elder Zhuo had asked this question. Elder Zhuo, Feiyang has made full preparations this time. I believe that the probability of breaking through to the legendary realm is still very high. Elder Zhuo nodded with a smile. The reason why he asked this was to show off that his disciple was about to break through the to the legendary realm. Sure enough, after the elders heard this, they all turned to look at the left elder with undisguisable envy in their eyes. At this moment, the supreme elder's voice was heard. His tone held a different opinion from the left elder, S. I think that little fellow Zhou Yun should be able to break through as well. Zhou Yun. I don't think so. Sir Pil, Grand Elder, this young man has only joined the sect for a short time. He doesn't have much experience, and he broke through too quickly. His foundation is unstable. On the surface, elders were seemed to be analyzing, but in reality, he was belittling him. The other elders nodded in agreement. As the most recent rising star and honorary disciple, they naturally knew him. They had also met Zhou Yun at the sect meeting three months ago. Later on, they had also learned about Zhou Yun's experiences. When they first learned that Zhou Yun had broken through from first layer to fifth layer of qi cultivation, and then from fifth layer to eighth layer, in a very short period of time they were slightly shocked. After all, they had never seen anyone who could break through continuously through cultivation. But after thinking about it carefully, they felt that it was not good to break through continuously. Such rapid breakthroughs could easily lead to a high realm without any strength. Although Zhou Yun's talent in alchemy was recognized by all of them, it was still hard to say for sure if he was talented in cultivation. The time he had accumulated was too short. Ling Qingyun looked at the unconvinced Grand Elder and felt that the atmosphere was a little off. He quickly changed the topic. The spiritual qi in our cultivation world is getting less and less. There are disputes in many places. I'm afraid that our spirit valley will be affected by them. After Elder Zhuo and Sir Pil heard Ling Qingyun's words, they stopped arguing and instead frowned. Compared to the disputes outside, whoever could break through to the tenth layer of qi cultivation in this trial was only a small matter. The other elders present also showed a worried expression. Yes, without spiritual qi, the stages of immortal cultivators will fall. At that time, some people will go crazy. 
I heard they're fighting for resources again. Sigh, when will this kind of life end? I've also heard that there are evil sects that have already started using humans as alchemy materials. How cruel. Which of the things they did weren't cruel? I'm afraid that if this continues, the other powers will also imitate the evil sects and use people to refine pills. Alas, I don't know which wicked thing cut off the road to the heaven realm. Now that there is no spiritual chi from the heaven realm, we can't hold on for long. Shush, be careful with your words. Ling Qingyun also let out a soft sigh, his eyes filled with complicated emotions. Great chaos is coming. At this moment, the teleportation gate flickered, and everyone looked over. Someone was about to be teleported over from the secret realm. No one was talking about what had just happened. A moment later, the flickering on the teleportation gate stopped, and two figures of different heights slowly appeared from the teleportation gate. When the two figures gradually became clear, the elders were shocked. The people who came out were none other than Zhou Yun and Xiao. At this moment, they were holding hands and happily chatting away. Xiao was even jumping around. Those who didn't know the situation would think that the two of them were on an outing and not exploring a secret realm. Good day sect leader, good day elders. The two greeted the people in front of them. The elders present were stunned at this time. The left elder asked with a frown. Why are you two here? Before Zhou Yun could reply, the portal flashed again. A moment later, Meng Feiyang walked out with disheveled hair and the other inner sect disciples. Zhou Yun, I'm going to kill you. As soon as Meng Feiyang and the others came out, they didn't bow and rushed straight to Zhou Yun, as if they didn't see the elders and the sect leader. The elders present were stunned when they saw this. What was going on? Did Zhou Yun stir up a hornet's nest again? How did he offend these people? When Zhou Yun and Xiao'er saw Meng Feiyang and the others charging over, they laughed as they ran. Oh, isn't this big senior brother? How come you become so miserable? Zhou Yun's words had infuriated all the inner sect disciples present. They had gone through so much trouble and used all their offensive magical items to obtain the spirit cleansing liquid, but this guy had just taken it away so easily. Now, he even dared to tease them. All the inner sect disciples immediately took out their own magical items and prepared to attack Zhou Yun. Stop. A voice reached the ears of all the inner sect disciples. When they saw that it was the sect leader, they quickly calmed down, put away their magical items, and stopped fighting. Chapter 40 The Breakthrough You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Seeing that everyone had calmed down, Ling Qingyun finally asked the question that had been on his mind. What's going on? The elders present were also puzzled. Why did they start fighting as soon as they came out? However, when they looked at Zhou Yun, their eyes widened. Tenth Layer of Qi Cultivation The Legendary Realm Although the elders had not broken through to tenth layer of qi cultivation before, they had learned how to distinguish between tenth and ninth layer from the experience and books passed down by the seniors. Although they could not believe their eyes, there was no doubt that Zhou Yun had really broken through to the tenth layer of qi cultivation stage. One had to know that no one had broken through to tenth layer of qi cultivation for countless years. They even unanimously thought that this was a legend. The Grand Elder recovered from the shock and looked at Elder Zhuo proudly. Elder Zhuo stared at Meng Feiyang and snorted. Sect leader, they bullied little junior sister Chiaor in the secret realm, and they even wanted to kill me. Zhou Yun's words had ignited the fury of all the elders present. Chiaor was a treasure in the hearts of all the elders, and they couldn't wait to protect her. If Chiaor didn't insist on participating in this trial, they wouldn't have allowed her to participate. They all looked at Xiao'er's body and saw that her clothes were torn in many places, and there were even wounds in some places. Just by looking at it, the elders' hearts ached. They all turned to look at the group of inner disciples, the anger in their eyes were evident. The inner court disciple looked at the elders who were glaring at him and his body trembled unconsciously. 
He was obviously feeling guilty. The sect leader was even angrier. Other than Xiao's matter, the second matter that Zhou Yun had mentioned made him even angrier. He had personally set the rule before entering the secret realm that they were not to kill each other. In the end, this group of people had actually chased them out of the secret realm. A sharp glint flashed across Ling Qingyin's eyes. They had ignored his orders. It's not like this. Zhou Yun is lying. That's right, it was Zhou Yun who snatched the spiritual beast that we fought so hard to obtain from the Leda Foundation establishment stage spiritual beast. He even fed it to Chiao in front of us. That's right, that was originally meant to help big senior brother advance to 10th layer of qi cultivation. In the end, it was snatched away by him just like that and even fed to Chiao. Zhou Yun has gone over the line. We were fighting the spiritual beasts on the shore of the spirit dot cleansing pond while he was resting underwater. When we finished fighting and our spiritual chi was almost depleted, he suddenly came up and snatched the spirit dot cleansing liquid. We chased after him because we were angry. After hearing Zhou Yun's words, all the inner sect disciples present began to cry out in pain and injustice. When the elders heard the words of the inner sect disciples, they were stunned by Zhou Yun's actions. How was he able to pull something like that off? No wonder this group of people wanted to fight Zhou Yun to the death. If they were in the same shoes, they would also be so angry that they would fight Zhou Yun to the death. Hearing everyone's complaints, Ling Qingyun felt that there was something unusual in their words. Zhou Yun, how did you advance to the tenth layer of qi cultivation? The moment Ling Qingyun's words left his mouth, the inner sect disciples were all stunned. Zhou Yun was at the tenth layer. How was that possible? He had already fed the spirit dot cleansing liquid to Chiao, so how could he still advance to the tenth layer? Gnav Om just as everyone was feeling puzzled, Zhou Yun slowly spoke. I have absorbed some spirit dot cleansing essence from the bottom of the spirit dot cleansing pond. Spirit dot cleansing essence. Ling Qin Yun and the other elders were slightly shocked. No wonder. None of them had expected that in this era where spiritual qi was scarce, there would still be something like the spirit dot cleansing essence. After hearing Zhou Yun's words, they were all envious of Zhou Yun's good luck. The effects of the spirit dot cleansing essence were much better than the spirit dot cleansing liquid. It said that the spirit dot cleansing essence can awaken the divine sense. Have you awakened it? Zhou Yun hurriedly greeted Sir Pil. It's awakened. After Chiao heard Zhou Yun's words, she recalled the scene where the two of them were underwater, and she could not help but blush. After everything had been sorted out, the elders were relieved. In general, the secret realm trial was a success. After all, a tenth layer of qi cultivation cultivator was born. There was hope for the future of the sect. At the thought of this, the elders present congratulated Zhou Yun one after another, and told him not to be arrogant and complacent, and to cultivate diligently. Meng Feiyang looked at the happy and harmonious scene in front of him and felt that the world was cold. Was he going to let go of the matter of his spirit dot cleansing liquid being stolen? He wasn't going to let things go that easily. He needed an explanation and an answer. Then, he glared at Zhou Yun and asked with grief and indignation. Since you've already broken through to the tenth layer of qi establishment stage, why did you still want to snatch my spirit dot cleansing liquid? Zhou Yun was taken aback by Meng Feiyang's question. Their conflict was only because he had blocked Meng Feiyang's way, or because Meng Feiyang was jealous of him becoming a glory disciple, but there was no way to explain it. If he continued to use the topic of them bullying Chiao, it would probably cause the elders to be dissatisfied. Answer me. Do you have an answer? Seeing Zhou Yun with stunned expression, Meng Feiyang pressed on, not giving him a chance to think. Zhou Yun had no choice but to drag his senior sister down with him. Who asked you to be so jealous? Big senior sister and I are innocent. Big senior sister only took care of me because my realm is low, but you don't like it and target me everywhere. Is there anyone like you? 
It just so happened that big senior sister Su Wani was also present. After hearing Zhou Yun's words, her brows immediately furrowed. Anyone with a discerning eye could see that the usually gentle big senior sister was angry for the first time. She walked up to Meng Feiyang. The relationship between you and me is only that of senior sister and junior brother, not the kind of relationship you think it is. There will be no such relationship now or in the future. Please don't fantasize about this in the future. Her words were no longer as gentle as before, and were instead stern and guarded. Meng Feiyang was stunned when he heard this. He had thought that Su Wani liked him, but she didn't dare to say it because of her identity. Originally, he thought that as long as he broke through to the tenth layer of qi cultivation stage, he would take the initiative to mention the matter of being cultivation companion S and Su Wani would definitely agree. However, everything in front of him and the voice in his ears told him that all of this was just his fantasy. Meng Feiyang felt like his world had collapsed. I'm sorry, junior brother. I didn't expect you to suffer so much because of me. Su Wani's voice became gentle again, but she was speaking to Zhou Yun. Ah. I'm going to kill you. I will kill you, Zhou Yun, it's all because of you. I'm going to kill you. When Meng Feiyang came back to his senses, he felt as if his heart had been split in half. His mind was blank. He didn't know what to do other than shout to kill Zhou Yun. A moment later, Meng Fei Dadan was taken away by Elder Zhua, and the Secret Realm trial was over. All right, this Secret Realm trial has ended successfully. Everyone can leave now. After Ling Qinyun announced the end of the trial, he immediately called Zhou Yun to his side. After we return, I will arrange for you to break through to the foundation establishment stage.